Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, welcome back to All Things Paris. So, today, I just finished doing a video, so make sure you look at that. But also, um, I, you know, wanted to be, like wanted to talk about my weight loss journey because I know I said that I would do one every week, but to be honest, I kind of fell off and I missed all last week because I had a whole bunch of like appointments and things like that that I had to attend to and stuff like that. So I was just really busy. But um, I think I'm going to just do one once a month because one, I don't want y'all to get bored with me like with these videos every week. And it's like it kind of takes a while for your body to because I'm overweight, my body's kind of in a state where it's confused it doesn't know what's going on it doesn't know you know it's, it's not really getting the signals yet like hey okay you know my metabolism isn't built up yet you know my body is still kind of just in the the little blah stage you know how like when you first start trying to eat right and exercise and stuff how you're not really losing you lose some weight but you don't really lose the weight how you want to or how you would think you should because your body kind of has to have that time to pick up what's going on your body has to have that time to realize like oh she's eating healthier let me you know burn this fat off and burn that fat off you know and things like that if that makes sense so but and I don't want to keep doing videos and my body isn't like really doing anything right now and it's just kind of like slowly losing inches like little stuff like that like losing inches but not really pounds and um, a little short update right now as of this very second I have not gained weight but I have not lost weight either I've lost like inches and maybe like a pound or two but I have not really lost weight to say like oh I lost 10 pounds or you know so but I am for sure going to the gym tomorrow and I'm hitting that gym up for sure so I make sure I have everything out so there's no excuse you know how, like you kind of get lazy and you don't want to do it like the night before like that morning or whatever and you're like oh i gotta get up shower get dressed go to the gym you know you play this whole step out of your head to psych yourself out or whatever and i'm gonna make sure i get everything out the night before tonight so i don't have no excuse for tomorrow I'll just get up and go you know so but I have to also watch what I eat because that's like really my problem. I don't really have a problem with sweets because I just don't. And I don't, I don't have like, well, I take that back. I don't have a problem with food. You know how like a lot of people eat like a lot of food and maybe that's why they gain weight because they overly eat or they eat just a bunch of food, period. I more have a problem with snacks. You know, like them snack foods. It'd be late at night and you up there eating Twinkies or eating chips and drinking pop. That type of stuff. That's my problem. I have a problem with snacks and with sweets. And it's not necessarily that I eat that type of stuff all the time because I don't. It's just when I do eventually eat it, I eat so much of it at that time. You know, it packs on that weight quick. And plus, when I eat dinner or food... Not that I eat a bunch of it, but I don't eat at the right times so that fat collects on me. And I don't necessarily have the best portion control because I always feel like I'm so hungry. I um I wait forever to eat. I normally eat one or two meals a day and that's not good because I know that slows down your metabolism and it doesn't. Your metabolism needs food to help build it up if that makes sense it needs that energy to fuel it and if you're barely eating it does not have that energy and also i know the key thing is getting enough sleep too because sleep really helps with burning off weight and stuff and keeping the weight off and i'm really not on a good sleep schedule at all like i go to sleep most of the times at like two in the morning three in the morning and i'm happy if i get maybe five hours of sleep i don't stay sleep i go to sleep like that it's just really terrible you know so i'm just trying to kind of get myself together and my life together right now and my schedule with sleeping and what i eat and my portion control and um 
those type of things and i know an app that really helps it's called noom n o o m and it, it helps because you put in there what you eat for breakfast lunch and dinner and you put like how much or whatever like say you had a baked potato for lunch you'll put for lunch that you have one baked potato and it'll tell you the calories and things like that on it so um then once you get all your stuff logged in for the day it tells you how many calories you ate in total and it tells you how many calories you have left if you have any left and the calories go based upon like your gender and your age and like your weight so it is really helpful and it also has different exercises and stuff like that that you can do and it's, it's a whole lot you have to go check it out but i'm like that helps and stuff but just also to trying to keep my mind with telling myself you know i'm going to do better i want better for myself and in me and around me and in my life and especially knowing that i'm 21 like who wants to be in their early 20s and overweight nobody and I'm not necessarily for my age. I'm not overweight. I'm overweight for my height. Okay, I'm very short. I'm 4'11". I'm very, very short. And so for me to be my weight that I am and my height is really bad. And people carry weight differently. We have to remember that. So I know a lot of times we can kind of psych ourselves too. And we'll look at people sorry if you hear that that's my alarm but to tell me to leave because i have to actually run errands but you know whatever i need to do this video so but um you know we'll psych ourselves because we'll look at somebody like oh well so and so is this many pounds and they weigh more than me okay but they're tall though so when you're tall that stretch out it's like gum think about it with gum if you stretch the gum, it's going to be skinny. But if you put it together, it's going to get, like, you know, big. Because it's scrunched together. I'm short. So, my weight is going to look more on me, naturally, than what it would on someone who's tall. See, if I was my weight and I was, let's say, five, even 5'4", five, I would look way smaller than what I am. And I know even, like, when I was in high school, like, my sophomore year... I was smaller than a lot of people in my class. And when I say my sophomore year, I was 125 pounds. I was 125 pounds. Like, I have pictures and everything. I, I have absolutely no reason to lie. And the people who were in class looked as so skinny. I mean, I looked this skinny too, but and it's not necessarily the word skinny because I don't really like that word, but I should say fit or thin or healthy however you want to put it um compared to me because they were taller than me so and i've always been short i'm very short person um so you have to keep that in mind i know i have to really keep that in mind myself you know like don't psych yourself up and be looking at somebody else like well i ain't that big because they don't look big and they're the same they're a different height and even if they are the same height, like I said, people carry weight differently. Some people could carry weight in their butt. That's how girls, some girls be having big butts that do have a butt. They could just so happen all their weight go to their butt. You know, some people all their weight go to their arms or their stomach or their face or, you know, whatever else. Like, people just carry weight differently. So, you can't look at other people and say, well, I'm this, so there's nothing wrong. And I'm not saying, you know, that I don't love myself or anything like that because I absolutely do love myself. But I'm not happy at what I see when I look in the mirror. I want to be a healthy person. I want to be healthy. I want to be a healthy weight. And according to my height, they claim I'm supposed to be 96 pounds. And who finna be 96 pounds at 21? Not me. Like, that may be for some people if they like to be that way or... Maybe they have like a health issue and they're that way. I don't know. But me personally, I want to be 125 pounds. So I feel like that's really good for me because I'll still have my thickness. But I'll also be slimmer and healthy. I want to overall be healthy. And don't get, don't get it twisted because 
I've seen videos in, in person, people that is skinny or healthy or slim, however you want to put it. Not even healthy, slim. And they're like 120 pounds, 115 pounds. And they can't even barely walk up the stairs and be out of breath. So health is that energy that you have, you know, stamina, I believe is the word for it. You know, and just building up that strength and things like that to keep yourself going and pushing. And I know, too, a lot of times that, you know, um, cardio is really good with boosting that. So, but I know, like, I got to really stick with it. I know it's, this is discipline for myself mentally that I have to just stick with because if I don't, I'm going to find myself just succumbing to just forgetting about it and I don't want to do that because that's the problem now obviously um but just speaking overall change you know and things like that you know I keep saying you know a lot but anyways just speaking about change in general like I just overall just want to change everything I don't like about myself and I know a lot of times people sometimes uh, say, I don't like this, that, and that, and that. And then they start off changing that first, and then they quit and just get stagnant again. But a lot of times you have to watch yourself because it's more to just you. It's more to just than just you when it comes to change because i know a lot of times yes it starts with yourself and you know whatever but i realized that at this age i'm 21 and it's okay to not know everything it's okay to uh you know fall off at times because one i'm young i'm super young I'm still trying to learn, you know, the hoops and loops of life and things like that. But you got to watch yourself because you can be your own enemy. And not that you're purposely trying to be, but you can yourself let situations in life and in general succumb over you and kind of mess you up. You know, rather you going through whatever personally or with people or financially, whatever, you got to watch that because it's all about thought. You can't, you can't ponder upon things because when you do, you constantly replaying that in your head and you messing yourself up. Say, for instance, if you wake up and you feeling good and you're like, oh, that's a nice day. I'm going to get up. I'm going to exercise, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, you getting dressed and a thought pop in your head or something that happened. And then you all of a sudden start getting sad. And you like, well. And then you just sitting there playing stuff over and over and over and over and over in your head that's negative. You'll be like, well, dang, I kind of don't even feel good no more. I'm just going to sit in the house, you know. You can't do that. You, I'm telling you, I had to learn this. Let me quit saying you. I had to learn to say to bleep with people because people gonna be them regardless seasons and seasons honey and that's where people things that happen whatever because you let me tell you something i can't <laughs> i can't keep thinking about things you know i have a problem with holding on to stuff and i know this is turning into like a rant video but whatever um <laughs> I can't keep thinking about things and what didn't go right and what went right and what I could have did and what I should have did with this and that and, you know, stuff like that. Because I could be far worse off than where I'm at. It's not even funny. People my age is hooked on drugs or, you know, or whatever, going through whatever, abusive relationships and, you know financially really struggling and all that type of stuff and you know so i'm not really bad but i just don't like some stuff that's going on in my life right now and exactly where i'm at so i just i feel like me losing weight one is healthy but two it's gonna make me overall feel better because i notice when i do go to the gym and i'm working at it for that moment constantly 
I feel good. I feel like I'm working towards something positive and I'm working towards something that's going to build me. And I feel good about myself. And I want to stick with that, you know. And I want to just overall just forgive people and forgive myself for things that didn't happen that I play in my head and all that. And I was watching... Um, I believe his name is Sam Rodriguez. Rod Rodriguez. However you say it, you you get what I'm trying to say. And he's a pastor, and he was just talking about like claiming your victory and claiming that I don't live here anymore. You don't live in depression. You don't live in you know anxiety and you don't live in fear you don't live in all these negative things anymore and to walk in faith and believe that God is going to have your back and God is going to be there and support you no matter what and that he's going to open them doors for you and he's going to he's going to be there he's not going to fail you and you know he was saying once you take that step Remove that mat that you was laying on and sitting on because if that mat is there, you're bound to go back to where that mat is. Remove that. Remove that root of that thought of that, you know, negative stuff and that, that evilness that plays in your head that messes you up and that makes you stagnant of where you're at. And claim your victory. Claim, you know... I got a million dollars claim I'm you know I'm healthy you know I'm wise I'm this and I'm that you speak that over you and in everything that you do and just take that leap nobody has to believe in you you have to believe in you and God believe in you and you keep it pushing you know and everything else will fall into play you know and I know a lot of times like with my weight and stuff I got teased for years in school and everything about it and you know I'll be thinking to myself, like, oh, my goodness, I just look so terrible sometimes, and blah, 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 and, you know, and then I turn around and get hit on constantly. I get hit on a lot, a whole lot, and it kind of shocks me because every time I get hit on, I'm like, for what, though, like, and isn't there somebody skinny sitting next to me with long, super, I mean, I have a lot of hair, but, you know, super long hair and, you know, the typical, like, video girl type person and, you know, and I guess even paying attention to that, seeing the simple fact that a lot of times you are not what you think you are. You're better. And that's that negative stuff playing in your head. So just watch your thoughts. I have to watch my thoughts. And keep to what I know I'm working towards, even if nobody else believe in it or see it. See something and believe in that in yourself. And know that God got you no matter what and through whatever. And, you know, so I'm believing in God and I'm stepping in faith and I'm claiming my victory. And I'm claiming that I am going to be 125 pounds and I am going to be where I want to be in life and in myself and around me. And so that's that really. So that's my little weight loss and my little, you know, story, if you want to call it that. So, but I hope everybody has a great, wonderful day. And I hope everything goes as you want it to go. And don't forget to claim your victory. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification. So you never miss a video. So until next time.